you to poop where there's smoke. They pinch back. Thomas the Tank Engine has worked his branch line for two years and knows it very well. Froggy, where are you? You know just where to stop, Thomas, laughed his driver. You could almost manage it without me. Really? No. Later, he boasted to the others. Driver says I don't need him now. Who cares, said Toby. This is good coke. Huh. Boasted Thomas, I'm not scared. I find that rather difficult to believe. <laughs> the next morning, the firelighter came. Thomas drowsed comfortably. I'll show them. Driver said I could manage without him. I'll just go out. Then I'll stop and wee wee wish. Thomas thought he was being clever. Really, he was only moving because a careless cleaner had meddled with his control. He soon found his mistake. Oh, smacking hell! He didn't dare look at what was coming next. There was the fish and chips shop. Fish. Whee! Gee, that's disappointing. He peered into the room through its leaves. He couldn't speak. Jeremy Clarkson was furious. You moron! His wife picked up her plate. You miserable engine, she scolded. Just look what you've done to our breakfast. <laughs> now I shall have to cook some more. She banged the door. I can't feel my legs. Meanwhile, Donald and Douglas arrived. Stop! You're going the wrong way. Keep going. The twins laughed and left him. <laughs> Thomas was in disgrace. There was worse to come. You're stupid, you are. You're stupid and ridiculous and useless. I know, sir. I'm sorry, sir. You must go to the scrapyard and we shall leave you for always and always and always. What? Percy and Toby were fishing boats and the fat controller was waiting for them with important news. I'm coming to make an announcement. Shadow the Hedgehog's a bitch. Here he said is Daisy. Hi, I'm Daisy. Please, sir, asked Percy. Will she go, sir, when Thomas comes back, sir? No. I walk a lonely road. Meanwhile, however long she stays, I hope you will both make her welcome and comfortable. Nah, I don't really feel like That's it. too damn bad! Daisy was hard to please. She shuddered violently at the engine shed. This is dreadfully smelly. I'm highly sprung. Oh, God help us. This is better, said Daisy. But whatever is that rubbish? Lights the engines woke next morning feeling exhausted. Ah, oh, my head. Daisy, on the other hand, felt bright and cheerful. Ooh, ooh. That sounds a bit weird. Look at me, she purred to the passengers. <laughs> you won't want Thomas's bumpy old Annie and Clarabel now. The passengers waited for Daisy to start, but she didn't. She saw that a pizza fan was about to be coupled to her. Do they expect me to pull pizza? Surely, said her driver. I won't, said Daisy. Percy can do it. He's a little bitch. How dare you! Daisy lurched backwards. She was so cross that she blew a fuse. 
It's Fitter's orders, she said. What is? My Fitter's a very nice man. He comes every week and examines me carefully. Oh, behave. Right here, looking right there. Looking right... I'm not even looking. Yes, great, yes, yes, yes. No, no. Stuff and nonsense, said the station master. I can't understand, said the shunter. Whatever made the fat controller send us such a bitch? The fuck you say to me, you little... Stop arguing, grumbled the passengers. That's a good story, she chuckled. I'll do just what work I choose and no more. You will do as you are told. Fuck! Daisy, the diesel rail car's work in the countryside, was full of surprises. 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 They come all shapes and sizes. She was frightened of bulls and cows. And she remained very... Hello, Percy. I see Daisy's left the pizza again. I'll have to make a special journey with it, I suppose. Anyone would think I'd nothing to do, grumbled Percy. Tell you what, replied Toby. I don't care. Tell you what, replied Toby. I'll take the milk. You fetch my trucks. The drivers and the station master agreed. Go! Whee! Percy had never been to the quarry before. You're lying! They whispered and passed the word. Hey, Percy! Hey, Percy! Come along, Puff Percy. No nonsense. We'll give him nonsense. Now we're driving super fast. But slow it down when we go past. Suddenly they saw a notice ahead. You are fucked. Oh, shit. On, on, they cried. Help, help, whistled Percy. Okay, don't panic. Remember what the instructor said. If you ever get into trouble, all you need to do is... Sexy. Lola Bunny. I'm blinky. I feel my whole life's a ah! Percy slid into the yard. Peep, peep. Look out. <laughs> Looks like your life has just been. Derailed. Next day, the fat controller arrived. I'm upset with your choices, and I'll beat you later. Oh, okay. The fat controller spoke severely to Daisy, too. Oh, shit. Shit, indeed. However, Toby says you worked hard after Percy's accident. So you shall have another chance. Hurrah! What Toby doesn't know about branch line problems isn't worth knowing. Our Toby's an experienced engine. Next day, Thomas came back. I'm back, idiots! And Percy was sent to crew a fine place for sick engines. And Toby has taught Daisy a great deal. She shooed a cow off the line. Bull.